I think I'd far, far away my best preparation ever for for the all the fights I ever had. So I think I, I did good. I did all I can do is just go there and show what I what I can. Uh, preparation's been great. I can't complain. I've, uh, yeah, I knew about this fight at the beginning of the year, so uh, I've been injury free and been training with Treco because we've been preparing for the same date. And I think the hardest job is down the gym, the hard train, cutting weight and stuff like that. So now it's just have fun. Yeah, he's got a good record and he's he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Um, obviously, he's very capable of MMA as well, so yeah, he's not really taken lightly. I heard a lot about him, but before the fight, I don't really worry about my opponent. I just worry about doing my best. That's what I want to do. I'll be a massive step up. Um, as you said, it's a title, so you get that to put next to your name and you know, just to get to defend it and um, just you know stamp yourself as a you know a real fighter. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm a, I'm a ground fighter, so you expecting that, but we train for everything that's in May, you gotta mix all up, you can't expect anything, you just go there and do your best. Richie Vass, Gustavo, Fal Ciroli, two composed young men ready for the challenge that awaits here in front of a screaming crowd at Sydney's Horden Pavilion. The hometown support most certainly in favour of this young man, the big wave surfer from the south side. Maroubra is where he calls home and Richie Vass equally as home inside the cage. He is 4-0, and oh, boasting a record of nine wins, two losses and two draws is this 27-year-old from Perth, Western Australia, Gustavo Falsaroli. Not daunted by the crowd, in attendance as we take a look at the tap out, tail of the tape, very little separate statistically apart from the experience advantage, that most certainly in favour of the young man from the Mac one gym. Let's go to James White. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Horton Pavilion tonight, it is world title time, bantamweight, world title in the CFC, mixed martial arts under 62 kilograms, sanctioned by the CSA, and of course, MMAOA Australia. Judges are Charlie Keach, Andrew Hernandez, Evan Bazzardo, and in charge of the action of our rings, five five-minute rounds of action is Steve Percival. Introducing first my father to my left, weighed in at 61.84 kilograms, hails from Maroubra, New South Wales, trains by Gracie Sydney, TP Fighting, Matt Gardner, Bruno Pano, Alex Prates, Bernardo Trecker trained, standing 168 centimeters tall. His MMA record undefeated, four fights, four victories. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing an MMA disciplined fighter, Richie Vance. And his opponent to my right hails from Brazil via Perth, Australia. Trains at Mac One Gym. He weighed in at 61.76 kilogram. Trained by Happy Hess. Standing 173 centimeters tall. His MMA record is a nine victories, two losses, and two draws. Discipline, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Gustavo Falciarole. Steve Percival, the third man inside the cage and looking a treat, we must say. Richie Vass, Gustavo Falsaroli. Vass in the black and white trunks, Falsaroli in the black and yellow skins. Band of weights under 62 kilograms, so not big men. Agility, speed, they are the keys here. Always staying busy, the, the lighter weights. And both guys trading nicely. 26-year-old Vass, four times inside the cage, four, four victories, and has come out with plenty of confidence. Not hesitant in any way, shape or form, Elvis. Absolutely not. 
Both guys are strong grapplers, but obviously Gustavo the more experienced, so it looks here that Richie's looking to keep the fight standing. He obviously wants to win with these punches. Stand and trade, that's where he sees his advantage. And a right hand. Looking for the single leg there was Falsaroli. Caught off guard and caught on the end of a right hand to the former Brazilian, now based in Perth. That's a nice combination there. That's why we defended it well. Oh, a nice little punch from Vass, and they grapple again up against the cage. Vass moving out of the danger zone there, giving himself and finding himself some space. Looking to go to the ground, no surprise. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialist in Falsaroli. And Richie circling nicely, keeping that distance, looking to set up his striking countering nicely of Gustavo. Gustavo dominating positioning here as far as where the fight is being fought. He's holding that center square and holding it nicely. Always looking for that takedown. Would love to get it on the mat. Take away the hands of the big wave surfer. It was opened up again. That's looking for that takedown. Gustavo shrugged it off. Oh, Vass again looking in. Oh, big knee by Valsaroli. And Vass on the way down picks up a leg. It's Valsaroli on top now. Chain of events there. Did the knee connect? Was it a partial shot? Either way, Richie Vass has ended up on his back here. And Gustavo cleverly pushing to the center of the hexagon. So Richie can't use that playing cage to climb back up to his feet. Not offering any room whatsoever, Richie, from the mat here. Stava trying to keep this fight down. Steve Percival, our referee, not a lot of work to do in this one so far. To the ground they go, and he, above all, will let these two sort out their differences on the ground as long as there is action, as long as there is movement. A smooth transition there for Alfa Soroli, getting the hooks in, taking the back of Vass. Vass here is stuck in the turtle position. Vass is trying to protect his head. He lost control of that arm. He was holding an arm so he wasn't getting hit by, by both hands. But then rolls to guard and the crowd appreciates that. And why shouldn't they? What about that from Richie Vass? Just his fifth fight, so good, so dominant, so early in his career. Vass looking to negate the posture here of Valsaroli. And does so nicely using that right forearm around the back of the neck. Slips now into half guard. Trying to keep Valsaroli from going to mount. Ah, oh, unlucky Vass, well defended there. Defended the mount quite well. That's showing some great scrambling. And Gustavo recovering nicely, always pushing forward. And he picks up the mount only to use it. What a great reversal there. Now kicking the legs of Gustavo. Looking to snap those hamstrings and quads of Gustavo Falsaroli. Clean in half in the last couple of seconds of this opening round. What an opening round it has been too. A little bit of stand and strike. A little bit on the mat. An aggression, a controlled aggression from both men. Let's check out the highlights from the opening five-minute period. And the replay brought to you by 48-hour rapid detox. Both men throwing some big punches and Vass catching that kick for the takedown. And both guys exchanging, showing not only good striking, but good chins as well as they clock each other. Valsaroli connects with that knee, dropping back to the ground, and Vass jumps straight into action, grabbing that leg. And Gustavo showing some great control on top. Around and add a little bit of everything, and you're exactly right, Elvis. Both guys showed the fact they have great whiskers because there were some big shots thrown. The heads got jolted, but the knees rarely buckled. So two genuine tough nuts as we start round number two of five this bout sponsored by hockey car we're at bantamweight just under that 62 kilogram limit
the first of three headline fights tonight. Next up, the rematch, Bernardo Treco and Adrian Payne, and then our main event for the middleweight championship of the world from the United States, Art Santori, up against our very own machine. I speak of Hector Lombard. A cautious, composed start to this second round. Falsarelli again controlling the cage very well. Oh, big hit by Falsarelli. And opening up here on Richie Bass, got three good shots, scoring shots, power shots, but Vass still looks fresh. And then he transitions nicely to his groundwork, looking to pass that guard. His jiu-jitsu really shining through. So good on the deck. And so composed in doing it, Gustavo Falsaroli. 90 seconds into the second round. It's a sport that was established in the 90s, it dominated the noughties, and this is absolutely going to explode and on our shores in the coming decade. And two at the forefront of that are in action now in Richie Vast and Gustavo Falsaroli. Falsaroli transitioning to a side control position, looking to isolate the arm of Richie Vass. Vass defending extremely well. Falsaroli controlling that leg, not allowing Richie to roll to his knees and escape. Richie, of course, looking to either to escape to his knees to get back up or to put Gustavo back in guard. Just great awareness from Richie Vass in a position where he is potentially vulnerable. Speaking of vulnerable, looking for the back but not finding it was Falsaroli. It's a great scrambling by Vass. Locks on the half guard. Looks to keep it. Falsaroli's trying to pass, trying to extend the arm. And looking for a head arm choke here. Falsaroli, does he have it locked on? Goes to mount. And he is comfortable in mount at this point in time, looking to get out of there in any way, shape or form from the ground as Richie Vass. And he has achieved his goal initially. Yes, slipped out of that choke. He was in a bit of danger there. Got out successfully. Now he has to defend the mount and the potential punches and elbows that could be rained down. Falsaroli moving to the back. Gets his hooks in. Vass looking to get those hook, that second hook out. Try and get Falsaroli onto the mat. Falsaroli moving, looking for the armbar. Oh, here he is. He got it. Has he got it? Holding on for dear life, Fritzy Bass looking to extend. And he has! And he has! How soon? How soon? Looking for the tap. The pain. He scrambles and he gets out. That was fantastic. Richie Vass, you are elastic, man. How did you get out of that? I thought Vass's elbow was going to end up back in the Louvre. I thought he was done there as well. The way that was bent like a banana, it was crazy, but he gutted it out. Now the question, Michael, how injured is that arm from that maneuver? He didn't tap out. He didn't submit. The fight goes on. But how much damage was done? It looks like he's caught now in an omoplata. Looks like the submission may have a bit of an effect on him. That's right. looking to finish the fight. Look at the contortion. Oh. Final 20 seconds of the round. And Vass rolls out of trouble momentarily. That's why he's still trying to finish this. And look at the heart of Vass. How did he escape that? Two submissions in quick succession. And now we're at the end of round number two. He is amazing and could get a job with the traveling circus as a contortionist because how he got out of that, I will never know. Onto the 48 hour up the detox replay. Some of the action here, Vass getting punched there. Here he defends the arm by Elvis. Run us through some of it. Well, he's trying to isolate that arm, get both legs on top of the head, and Richie's just gutting it out, trying to get his head out there. I'm a Plata. Falsaroli looking for the submission there. 
First one attacking the elbow, this time attacking the shoulder. And boy, does that look painful. What is going through the mind of that young bearded man, Richie Vass? 26 years of age, undefeated in mixed martial arts. And how he survived the second round, I still can't understand. He is in the third and starts with a great long right hand. And how much damage has been done to those shoulders, the biceps, triceps, I guess also the elbow. Well, looking at those punches he's throwing, I don't think he's been overly affected. I think he's gotten out of that round okay. Standing and looking to exchange. Another nice right hand from Bass, the shorter of the two men, but not by a great deal, just five centimetres statistically separates on our tap out tail of the tape the height and reach in favor of gustavo falseroli there's a quiet over the horden pavilion at the moment after what we've seen in the last 10 minutes and if you're a betting man with one of our sponsors in fightbet.com.au you would be suggesting of us after what we've seen the likelihood is we are going to go to the judges scorecards well, it's a five-round fight, so we're only into the third round. Still a long way to go. Uh, Gustavo has shown dominance. He's ahead on the point. So, Vich, Richie, he's hungry. He's going to push it. You can hear the support for Richie Vass from his mates from the southern side of Sydney. But, in fact, Gustavo is using it as motivation and inspiration for himself, almost egging the crowd on Three minutes remaining in this, the middle round, if in fact we do go to the judges' scorecards. Hope you are enjoying CFC 12. What a journey it has been so far. This part of course, proudly brought to you by Hocker Car. Money lends on anything. Espel tries to push more of the action here. Just stepping it up a little, isn't he, Gustavo? High knees. Keeping it compact, though, Elvison. And, and that's what, as we've seen over the last couple of years, that is what Gustavo is about. Keeping it compact, keeping it tidy, keeping it safe. He's also using a bit more variety. Rich is throwing a lot of punches and countering very nicely. He's got some good head movement happening. But every now and then, he's throwing in those knees. So Falciroli's keeping it busy, mixing, mixing it up there. And then shooting in for that takedown. That's exactly where he is at again. Looking for the underhooks here. Arms under the armpit to make the toss that much easier and that much more effective. Lost control there, did Falsaroli. Able to spin out of harm's way. Young Richie Vass. Richie seems to be using the takedown setup not to take him down, but to get out of a dangerous position when he's trapped up against that cage. Front kick from Gustavo Falsaroli. And again, it's the hands of Richie Bar Bass that he elects to throw. Still, he sees that as his greatest asset. And after what we've seen, few could argue. Nice front kick there from Falsarelli. Looking for the head of Vass. Vass too well defended for that. He just continues to march forward, Falsarelli, doesn't he? There's not a great deal flash about what he does but so, so effective. And he's just been a true mixed martial artist. You're seeing punches, kicks, knees, elbows, everything from him. He's really pressuring Richie here. And Richie, of course, make, mixing it up nicely with body shots as well as going to the head. Final minute of round number three. Kick to that lead leg from Gustavo. Coming over the top at that opportunity with the right hand was Vaz. 32nd mark of round number three. Richie Vass trains at Gracie Sydney in the TP fight team. He's got a big crew here with him tonight, offering their assistance from the side of the cage.